Hello and welcome to another devlog video for the Animal Behavior Kit Pro. Today is going to be a fairly short video. I want to give you guys a quick update on what I've been working on and everything that is left for the 1.4 update. So if I go back and show you guys my Trello board here, you can see that we have a lot of features that are considered complete on the Dawn swim lane. There's still a lot of features that are still considered work in progress is quite a long list however a lot of these features i consider to be kind of code complete i want to do a final test before i move them over things that i've shown like uh, in place rotation hp regeneration after this engage etc i've been working a lot on this epic here improving the attack code which includes a new feature which is ranged damage that's going to be shown in a separate video Today I want to uh, focus on these top two here. I wanted to replace Manny from UE4 to UE5. Obviously that's just an update. And this epic called Improve Migration. So if I click here, there are three main things that I wanted to tackle to make migration easier for you guys when you're upgrading. First, I want to remove that custom object channel. There's been a lot of issues, a lot of uh, migration uh, problems that come with having a custom channel. Unreal Engine, unfortunately, is not the best at migrating those channels. And many times those blueprints get messed up. So now they're using a common channel and that should basically remove that issue. I'm also moving a lot of the player controls to its own component, which is what you see here. I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm using the new input system, which means that now for migration, you don't have to copy the input settings from one project to the other. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like here. So if I click play, you see that now we have the new mannequin and all of the other mannequins that are from UE4, including all the animations, the shooting, all that is gone. Now we have the new mannequin and of course, all the functionality is still there. You can see that I can aim, but I no longer have all of those UE4 animations. And if I open the player character here and I go to the event graph, you see that all we have here is the default movement code and just one extra thing that is optional, which is the camera zoom, which is what allows me to zoom in and out. That's not part of the default character code, but I wanted to have it there. So I consider it to be kind of a nice to have. Besides that, there is nothing else. And if you guys look at what's currently uh, available, if you look at your own player controller, uh, player uh, character, there's gonna be a lot of extra code here. And all of that has been moved down to this component here, comp ABK player controls. And if I go here, you can see that we have a lot of that code in this component. This is a lot simpler, which means that if you have a custom character, all you have to do is add this component. Before you had to copy a lot of this code, fix up um, errors, create variables, etc. All of that is gone and it should be a lot easier to migrate your characters. And also I am using a uh, enhanced input. You see there's a new folder called input. And here you have the ABK player input uh, mappings and you can see that we have all of those mappings right here and they're going to be migrating because they're actual files uh, you can see here all the actions they're actually migrated through the regular migration process if I go to project settings and I click on input you can see that we have no input action mappings at all again uh, much nicer because now I can clearly reference uh, code here for example shoot I open then you can see that I have that enhanced input that I'm referencing on this file right here and it's very easy if you ever wanted to change your uh, mappings you can just go here and expand any of these and change the key right here so overall migration when you're uh, downloading the one that for update should be a lot easier. I was looking at the migration guide and more than half of those steps are actually cut. Uh, so that should be, in my opinion, a, a pretty big boon to the update. It was something that I kind of thought um, a few weeks ago and I figured this is important enough that I wanted to include it in this update. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys that it should be a lot easier to migrate when the update comes. 
the next devlog will show you guys the improvements to the attack code we are getting closer so i appreciate your patience on that if you have any comments make sure you leave them on the video below or join our discord and if you have any suggestions for features or anything else let me know thank you guys so much and i'll talk to you in the next video